Hello, my name is Mark LeCant. I quality home maintenance. I've been hired to put this door in this opening. It's a 30 by 80 door, 30 inches wide by 80 inches tall. Um, I've already stained and finished this door. Um, it's ready to be installed. Um, if I do a quick check to see if this is going to fit, you can see that it won't quite fit into the opening. That's because the door is making contact with the door opening at this corner. So what's probably happened is the left side of this door opening has uh, settled over time. Um, so what I'm going to do to figure out what kind of fall I have, or to figure out the angle, I won't have necessarily have to figure out the angle. I'll take my level, put it tight up into this corner. Um, I'll drop the right side of this level until the level shows true, then measure the distance between the door opening and my level. That will give me a, a measurement for every two feet of fall that I have. So this, this level is two feet long. This measurement was about a quarter of an inch. So if I start here at this corner, measure out two feet, come down a quarter of an inch, draw a straight line, that should pretty much match this, this angle. And I don't even know what that angle is. The reason for that, I just want this door to look true, level, um, and plumb. As long as I make that door fit that door opening, it will look like it's, it's normal, like it's supposed to be that way. Okay, I've gone ahead and surface mounted my hinges to the door. And uh, what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and mount it to the door opening. I went ahead and pre-drilled one hole, so that way, um, you always want to pre-drill your holes. It is really beneficial to get that pre-drilled. That way your alignment's already set up, you're not trying to, to get the hinge in the exact spot before you put the screw in. Um, I'm going to put this door in. We're going to see how it fits. I just got the one screw holding this hinge in. It's a hollow core door. That's plenty good for the weight of this door. I'm just going to kind of line it up and it fits snug. It actually did rub up in this top corner here. So I might have to just sand a little off. But you can see that's a nice, that's a nice tight fit up at the top. Um, there's a little gap on the side, really nothing I can do with that. Um, that's why I didn't recess or countersink these hinges into the door. Okay, I went and put one screw in on that bottom hinge. Uh, uh, what that does is that eliminates any error with me trying to measure and get that hinge in the right spot I have it on the door. Um, if I get the one hinge in position, I can go ahead get my second hinge lined up in the door frame, go ahead, drill a pilot hole, put a screw in, it's in the right spot. Now I shut the door, and you can see, and even, I mean, it, it fits very nice. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a door knob on it yet, so I'm just prying it open with my fingers here, and it, but it's a nice tight fit. Now I'm gonna mark the other holes in these hinges. Um, using a scratch all, I'm using this as a center punch. I'm just gonna line it up in the center of the hole and make a little dimple. I'm gonna do that top and bottom. Drill pilot holes, put the screws in, that's going to pop the pins out. And you do want to make sure that you have your pins, your, your hinges in right, so that the pins fall in the top, not 
chances that they fall out of the bottom.